Hey everyone in today tutorial we are looking at the Windows Insiders release preview build 22449 to the dev channel of Windows 11 Insider. You may notice that this build number is higher than the Windows 11 preview builds you've been receiving. That's because Microsoft is moving the dev channel back to receiving builds from their active development branch RS underscore pre-release. This means the builds released to the dev channel no longer match the Windows 11 experience that will be released to customers on October 5th. These builds are from the earliest stage in a new development cycle with the latest work in progress code from our engineers. These aren't always stable builds, and sometimes you will see issues that block key activities or require workarounds while flighting in the dev channel. It is important to make sure you read the known issues listed in Microsoft blog posts as they have documented many of these issues with each flight. Because of being at the earliest stage of a new development cycle, you won't see new features or major changes in these builds right away. These builds are also not matched to a specific release. New features and OS improvements from these builds could show up in future Windows releases when they're ready, and we may deliver them as full OS updates or servicing releases, changes and improvements. The boot screen now shows a progressive ring animation for loading the OS instead of an animated circle of dots. Microsoft are working to replace this animated circle of dots in other areas of the OS over time. Right-clicking on the Bluetooth entry in Quick Settings and Selecting Settings will now open the main Bluetooth and Devices page in Settings. The Windows Startup sound will no longer play after an unattended update, aka a scheduled Windows update when you are not at your PC. Added a link to the Touch Keyboard personalization settings from typing greater than Touch Keyboard to help improve discoverability. Notifications now have an acrylic background. Updated animation used in the notification introducing you to Windows Hello if it hasn't been set up. Updated the dialog when closing Windows Sandbox so that it has rounded visuals. Adjusted the design of Notification Center to make the app names more visibly separated from the notifications. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe share and leave a comment. See you on my next tutorial, have a great time.